Uh, so a very positive result today, uh, beating your former club 4-0. Uh, how do you feel after that? Yeah, I think, um, I mean, any result, any win this late in the season, especially what we're going after, is you know is is more than enough. Um, the beginning of the, uh, the game, it was just two points we we wanted, and um, no matter how we we did it, that's all what really mattered. Um, I think first period we kind of came out a bit slow, but um, I think once our momentum picked up, I think we we kind of dominated the game, took over, and it was kind of almost plain sailing from there on. Yeah, yeah that that second period where you almost blew them away with three goals, it was very hard for them to get back into the game. What was said between the break between the first period and the second period that made you come out with such a good start? I think just realizing what's on the line for us. I mean, you know, we got a tough task already. Um, you know, having to win out and then with the with the two games in Belfast next week, um, so you know it was it would have been stupid to, to kind of falter before that uh, before that weekend. So I think just uh, just realizing what actually is on the line and then um, you know sometimes you do you do need need, need reminding as a team and uh, yeah I think we we responded well to it. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a uh, Cardiff obviously coming to play today. You know, back off of yeah. Welsh. Rugby win, yeah, mm -hmm. and then today Swansea won. Were you a bit worried that they might continue the trend today against you? No, I don't think so. I mean, um, you know, it is they're kind of settled in their in their position for the playoffs. They they're not really playing for much. So I think you know, for our feeling, as long as we kind of uh, turned up to work, it was you know, and worked hard, then um, you know, we could we we could see them just kind of you know ease down. Then so um, no, we weren't too uh, too worried. Those results coming in. You uh, you mentioned the trip, the two games away at Belfast next week. How important was it to get a positive, a very positive result today? Yeah, yeah. huge. It, I mean, you know that carries on, and you know, I'm pleased for Johnny to get the shutout, and um, you know, for the D. And I think uh, over the last few games, defensively, I think we have been a bit better. We, you know, forwards have been coming back, and um, you know, we've been supporting each other as a five uh, in our end and in the, and, and and in their end. So. Um, yeah, very positive going in uh, for next week. And uh, Jeff Lee got man of the match, if I'm correct, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, um, but I, I kind of thought that Rod, Rod Saric had a great game in defence today. How, how important is it to have a defender of his calibre come back? It's huge. And I mean, when Rodney was out, there was, you know, no offence to anyone else. It's, it's one of them players you, you don't replace a Rod Saric. Um, you know, I've, I've said it a few times now, he's just a player you cannot replace. Um, so to have him back, you know, for the end of the season is massive, and I mean, you know, everyone can see his skill and it, just his kind of composure and his ability to skate his way out of trouble. So, uh, it's you know, a massive thing to have him back, uh, you know, for this kind of title race. And Mike Ramsey got a brace, Lee got two assists. He might want to win another mm -hmm. match. Seems like you're you're finding your gears now when you're going forward. That seems to be, in spite of the criticism, that seems to come your way sometimes that Sheffield Steelers play a bit duller, they're not as fluid going forward as the Giants, mm -hmm. as the Panthers. Do you feel like you're answering your critics with displays like this tonight? Yeah, I mean, we'll always have our critics. I, I don't think, you know, no one's ever, ever, ever happy. But, you know, we just do our thing. And, and you know, as, as you mentioned, there's, there's, you know, we've had good partnerships all year and Leggy and Rama have been, you know, performing well. And, um, you know, our, our line tonight with uh, with Huey and Folgy, you know, we, we, we've been clicking over the last few games and then, you know, Ezzy, Squeezy and, um, and Finner have been uh, going well too and chip, chipping in the goal. So, uh, but we, we'll always have some someone who's not happy, but at the end of the day, I think we've, well, we lost seven games all year. So, you know, that's not a bad, I mean, however you do it, you're still in the game. So, And final question. Uh, do you ever keep an eye on what Belfast Giants are doing at this point in the season as it's closing out, or is it just focusing on what games are ahead of you now? Do you not look at what they're going? I think at, at, you know at the end of our games, we'll, we will kind of look to see you know see the score and just kind of hope that they have done a Man City and lost to the kind of Swansea or whatever. But um, no, I, it, we're not relying on anyone beat, uh, beating them other than ourselves. We can't. We you know we've got to we've got to expect them to uh, you know to win their games. Until our game, and 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 they're expecting the same thing, really. So we all concentrate on our own jobs, and then you know, come Friday and Saturday, then um, you know, we'll see, we'll see who's going to win the league. Okay. Thank you very much. No